night sights are amazingly effective, but they can get a little costly. So we're going to go over a couple low-cost alternatives that you can do at your house yourself right now. This is Todd from Sniping Rental Ranch. In today's video, we're going to go over uh, two different types of paint on night sights. Before I begin, let me apologize. I still don't have my voice all the way back, but uh, it's a little bit better than my last two videos. If you haven't watched it, you really want to go check out our night shooting video. And you can really see the advantage that night sights give you in low light conditions. In fact, we've got uh, two pistols right here that have night sights on them. Um, one of them is a True Glow, was $50, $60 range, which is kind of funny. It's a lot cheaper uh, than the Trigicon, but I actually prefer this better because it's uh, a bigger sight and it glows a little brighter. Uh, then, of course, the Trigicon sight. And these sights, you don't have to do anything with them. You put them on there um, and they glow for a couple decades. In fact, I think the half life is 11 years. Um, and, and so, in theory, for 22 years, you'll have some glowing on the sights. Unfortunately, when you've got 50 to 60 dollars and 125 to 150 dollars, that can be pricey if you want to outfit your gun or all your firearm. So what we were looking into is some cheap alternatives. And so we've got two pistols here that do not have night sights, and we brought two uh, products. One is a glow on. It's got 2.3 milliliters. And it costs about 10 bucks, which is significantly cheaper than the 50, 60 bucks to $150. Other product we have is Gun Glow. And this is 10 milliliters, and it costs uh, 16 bucks. And so basically, you get four times the amount um, for six extra bucks. So uh, not a lot of money, and you can do quite a few firearms. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these on uh, one or you know on each of these weapons we'll do one and then we're going to try a bunch of different tests to see how well the product works we're going to put these on and then we'll start seeing uh, doing the different tests and see how well this product works so we have the two different types uh, we're going to go with this one first and then it came with this stuff I also have some uh, toothpicks and just some clear nail polish we won't use this until tomorrow uh, so the plan is I just got regular sights they're not glow in the dark um, so I, I want to do probably two or three coats of this um, I'll put one coat on and then I'll let it sit for about half an hour to just dry probably turn the fan to help it speed it up and then I'll put a second coat and a third coat on um, and then once it's dry for 24 hours then I'll, I'll put the clear uh, nail polish on there that will uh, just better protect it keep it from from chipping out a little bit better so anyway enough talking I painted on the glow-in-the-dark stuff on both firearms um, and there's three scenarios or tests now that we have it on 
uh, that we want to check for the fire reference. The first one, the scenario is uh, you have like a, a little safe, a single gun safe right next to your bed or on your nightstand that the firearm stays in there 24 7 and if there's a bump in the night you open up the safe and grab your firearm and in that situation because the firearm hasn't been charging um, you're basically the scenario is you have a flashlight you quick hit it with a quick flash of the flashlight uh, you know a second maybe two seconds and then you go clear the house um, and so that's the first scenario. We actually already did that test. And what we found is that the gun glow, actually, uh, you could still use the sights for about 20 minutes. Uh, with the glow on, um, only after about 15 minutes, it deteriorated to a point where you couldn't really see the sights uh, in the dark. But, again, it's just a quick flash and... Uh, and so it's not going to stay that long. And, and initially, the first five minutes or so, it's, it's very, very bright. And then it just diminishes to the point uh, where after about 20 minutes, the, the gun glow you couldn't use. And the, uh, the glow on, on about 15 minutes, you couldn't use it. The second scenario is you keep your firearm in your safe uh, or locked up during the day. And then once the kids go to bed or something like that, before before you uh, go to sleep, a couple hours before you go to sleep, you pull your firearm out, uh, you stick it underneath the light while you're doing some reading or something. And so you have two hours basically uh, where you're gonna have it uh, charging up. And we're actually, for this scenario, uh, we're gonna just put it under here for two hours and then we'll take it in and see how long it lasts. Okay, it's been two hours, so we'll go ahead and turn the light off, and we'll take the, uh, the firearms inside. As you can see, um, I don't know if you can see that, they are pretty, pretty uh, bright right now, but we'll take them in and we'll see how long uh, having them in the light for two hours will uh, keep them charged up. As you can see, both of them are pretty bright. We let them charge up for two hours, and they're significantly brighter uh, than the, the quick hit it with a light for two or three seconds. Just for comparison, um, these, this uh, one on top is my uh, normal uh, expensive uh, night sight. So you can see that when they're brand new charged, it, it's brighter than actual uh, radiation or uh, trigicon type sites or true glow sites. So we just got done with the two hour charging test. And what we found is that the gun glow actually worked better than the glow on. Uh, the glow on, you could basically, it, it was bright enough to use for about three hours and the gun glow was actually uh, it's about the four hour mark that you weren't able to actually see the sight they were just too dull, uh, dim to actually see the sights so that's how that went so let's get ready for the next test third scenario is where basically you don't have young kids in the house you don't have neighbors coming over um, something like for us, uh, we leave our firearms out all day long. Uh, there's nobody out here. Uh, the few neighbors we do have come over, are, you know, they have guns all over the place. Guns are just part of the culture out here. And so that's where your firearm is basically out all day charging. And we're going to see how long um, or whether or not when it's charging all day, if that will last the entire night. But so I've had the pistols just laying out for about 11 hours now um, and you can see even with the light just how bright they are so we'll see how long just leaving them out will keep it charged okay the results of the big test um, the good news is uh, the gun glow wasn't any better or any worse than the glow on 
Um, I was absolutely disappointed with this test. I was expecting it to go a lot longer uh, than it did. We ended up charging um, charging these for about 11 hours and then uh, put them in the dark room. And, and let me tell you, when we first uh, stopped charging them, it was amazing how bright it was. It, and actually, I took some video, which I should have up on the screen. Unfortunately, um, it only lasted about two hours. I, like, it was less time than when we charged it for, um, for the, the two-hour one. So, because those lasted three and four hours. So, very disappointed with the results for the letting them charge up all day. So we finished up the testing. Now we just have two more things to do. A, who, uh, which product was the best? And B, do we think it was worth the money? Well, the Gun Glow, which was actually cheaper per uh, milliliter, again, comes with 10 for 16 bucks versus uh, the Glow On that has 2.3 for 10 bucks. Um, this definitely lasted slightly longer. Um, this one though, the Glow On, has a distinct advantage of you can do different colors. So if you want to change up your front sight from your rear sights, um, or you don't, you know, see a particular color well, you have a whole range of colors. So that definitely has advantage for that. So was it worth doing? I'll tell you, I was very, very disappointed with the results after leaving them out to charge. Um, just expected something better. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, definitely not worth it if it's going to be a primary weapon that you use. If, if you've got a primary weapon that you carry all the time for home defense, for duty use, whatever it is, uh, concealed carry, open carry, then you definitely want to spend uh, the money to get some just some solid night sights. Again, um, the True Glow is 50 to $60 range. Well worth it if you think of it's going to glow somewhat for 22 years. Um, for other weapons, yeah, absolutely. It's totally worth it. We have quite a few firearms. I know people have quite a few firearms. So it is nice to have that. And let's be honest, when you're shooting in low light, you still got to have a light source. Again, if you didn't watch our our uh, night shooting video watch that you definitely have to have a flashlight so you can make sure what your target is and by using that flashlight you're actually going to charge uh, that that those sights up with these these paint on night sights you're going to charge them up and it'll definitely be an advantage uh, if for some reason you get into a, an engagement at night so for that there is definitely some positives but again if you're if you're looking for something that you can charge up and it's going to last the whole night. This definitely um, is not it. We'll continue to play with it. Who knows? Um, maybe we did something wrong. I don't know. But definitely um, not what we expected to happen. But for the money, it's probably worth the money if you can't afford some quality night sights. And on your primary weapon systems, you definitely want to invest uh, and, and get, get some night sights that you don't have to charge or anything. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment. Tell us what type of night sights that you use. Uh, tell us if maybe you've had some better results with this. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming homestead-related and shooting videos. This is Todd from Sniping Rhino Ranch saying have a great day.